hi all so today we will be seeing a new program this is about pangram so what is pangram so pangram is a sentence uh, like uh, where each and every letter of alphabet should be present at least once so for example this line the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog so this sentence has all the alphabets from a to z so this is a pangram but if let's say uh, q is not there then this will not be a pangram or hollow alphabetic sentence so this is a program uh, sometimes maybe asked in interview right so um, so how do you uh, find like uh, whether it's a pangram or not so let's uh, find out uh, the logic uh, which we can implement here okay so this is my sentence and now I will uh, create a boolean flag is is pen is pangram uh, equals to false okay so next uh, next what I had to do like uh, uh, this is a sentence and now um, we have to use the ASCII value of each character right or like uh, you know like uh, in in uh, like in java we can also loop through the characters like let's say your first character is a so if you do ch ch equals to a uh, i mean in, in single word i will show you what i am saying let's say ch character or care c equals to a right now if i do c plus plus then C will now become B so because uh, A is actually there is a ASCII value of A which is 97 so when I'm doing it it actually becomes 98 internally and when I'm printing it it is getting back the value of C as 98 which is B so this is the way this is way the uh, so in this way uh, this actually works so we'll we will use this logic here so uh, we have this sentence now I'm using for loop which is log care ch a I, I want to loop uh, the I want to continue the loop until uh, ch be uh, less than equals to z and ch plus plus okay now in this uh, particular for loop I will check for a condition like if sentence okay there is one more thing I can do here like uh, this sentence can be have, can uh, can have uh, like the upper case and lower case letter so uh, uh, this pangram uh, part is like uh, it is not uh, case sensitive okay so irrespective of the case it will work so sentence dot to lower case and I'm putting this to the sentence also okay now this sentence is now all the characters are in the lowercase uh, so it will be easier for us to validate right now now what do we have to do here like uh, now we have to check whether sentence dot contains what contains it contains ch so we cannot can I can I use directly ch no I think right because we have to change the type so this content expects one string so we will use the converting of I mean we need to convert this character to string so string dot value of and here this method is like uh, ch this method is converting like it says return the string representation of the care argument so uh, if you pass character it will return the string so if this contains this then what I want to do um, okay so uh, I'm checking like whether this particular sentence is containing this character or not if this char character is containing this character then what I want to do like uh, okay so in that case if uh, let's say I'm looping over it and it founds the character and uh, in that case um, this character is actually presents right 
so if it is not present uh, no uh, one moment so a is there so a will be looping through it so first First, it validating with A. So let's say it's continuing checking it, checking it, checking it, and let's say it finds the A. Where it, A hey, here it finds the A, and that means uh, this A is there, right? So it will continue the next like this. So once let's say there is one value, let's say G is not there now. When it comes to the G and it finds all over the sentence, right? But it it will not find will not find the G value because G is not there. In that case, it should that means our sentence is not pangram because G is not present, right? So in that case, this for loop should be stopped and break out of this loop. So uh, okay. So for loop should be breaked out this loop. So if uh, sentence dot contents, so I will use a negation here because if this condition is satisfied true, false it means this part is false. That means this G is not present. In that case, this is false. Now as I am using the negation here, so it becomes true. That means this is pangram is currently evaluated to I mean actually it should be true here and I will make it false here okay I hope you're getting it because here is pangram equals to true that I am taking as by default it is true now once this part is becomes true this whole part becomes true then I want that means uh, if, if this condition is true that means sentence dot contains sentence doesn't contains this character right and that means this is this pangram I mean it, sh it, it is not pangram so is pangram equals to false and I am breaking out of loop this loop okay now here I am checking another condition if is pangram that means sys out uh, the sentence is pangram else sys out the sentence is not pangram okay so I'm running this code uh, okay Okay, there is error present. Let's see what is that error. Uh, okay, I missed some semicolon, right? Okay, the sentence is not pangram. Why? Because this G is not present, right? So I'm entering G. Now this sentence is pangram, right? So uh, I mean anything we can miss out like the x. Um, uh, I'm just removing this x and I'm checking whether it is saying like okay the sentence is not pangram because x is missing, right? So like this we can do it. And also it is doesn't mean like we need to have only character only characters or alphabets here. It can have any numerics also. So it it is okay, but at it should have all the alphabets that is the condition it can have other characters as well but along with that it needs to have all the alphabets so in that case only it should be pangram yep so thank you and I think I hope, hope you understood it and okay bye